actually like all of these like ideas mm-hmm. that he's presenting in these first two chapters, he's talking about them specifically as applicable to the seven habits that he's about to get into. But it's also, I think, you know, what I like about it is that you can actually apply this to really anything yes. in life. So even for example, like this podcast, <laughs> right? And the goal of our is we're our goal is to actually try and remember what we're what we're reading here right. and not just forget it after we read it. Right. We could be, we could do this dependently, like we could do it, or I mean, um, we could do it independently even, and we can do it on our own. Right. You know what I mean? Like I could go, like I said in the first one, I could go just, you know, talk to myself, talk myself through this chapter on my own. I could probably remember some if I just, you know, kind of out loud, just talked about it, you know, to myself. But I think the interdependence of us sitting down together and discussing this. Right is leaps and bounds better than if I was just doing this by myself right. and trying to remember it, you know, mm-hmm. but I think to us doing this together and being able to discuss this at the same time and bounce back and forth with one another, it actually helps us remember things long term and it gives us better benefits, not just me, but for the both of us. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't only, it doesn't only benefit the two or team people working together, right. but it also benefits the product as well. And that's exactly. where he kind exactly. of gets into next, unless I'm forgetting something. Doesn't doesn't he move from the interdependence to the production slash production capability? Yes. Does he yes. get into I that balance so. next? Yes. Okay. So he talks about and and right there and last thing for the maturity levels is that he lays it out, um, and you kind of touched this a little bit yeah. already, but he lays out how the maturity levels um, intertwine with the seven habits that he has. Yes. So the so the first three habits are taking you from dependability or temp, you know uh, dependence mm-hmm. into independence, and then the next three habits are taking you from independence to interdependence, and then the last seventh habit kind of wraps it all together mm-hmm. and helps you continue in that journey. Because I think even with these habits and then with anything else in life, you can fluctuate between. <laughs> Between interdependence, independence, yes. and dependence, yes. you can fluctuate depending on where you're at in your in your life, what's going on. Yes. You can fluctuate to those, you know. So you could be at independence, or you could be at interdependence, and you can fall back to dependence, you know. In right. some cases, you know, depending on you know what's going on. But so it's a constant. The seventh one is that constant, and of course, we get into that when we get into the seventh habit. Yes. But it's continuing to build on top of what was already built. Right. Yeah. This journey certainly does not end after yep. you read the book that actually for him as he's setting it up is just the beginning. Exactly. And I love how, and you pointed this out to me and I read it, uh, but you, you came to me and pointed it out how in this book, he actually states the goal that very ma- that very well matches this podcast right. also kind of is also kind of his goal for the book is not that we would do these seven habits, do these things alone, but that we would actually do them and enjoy yep. them with other people. 